What's up guys? Welcome to another episode. Sorry it's been a while since I've made a video for you guys. So for the past couple of weeks I have been cutting, trying to lose some weight, strip off some fat, and today I want to share with you the breakfast that I have been making. It is vertical diet friendly in that it includes whole eggs, egg whites, potatoes, cottage cheese, and lots of salt. So all that being said, let's get started. So the prep time for this breakfast does take a little bit because I will be baking some potatoes. This takes about 45 minutes to an hour depending on how big your potatoes are and how uh, how cooked you want them to be. 45 minutes at 425 degrees in the oven is enough to cook them fully. So the first thing you want to do with your potatoes is wash them. Wash them off in the sink, scrub them with a sponge on the outside to get all the dirt and shit off of them. So yes, after washing them, dry them off just with a towel here. And there is usually some dirt on potatoes, like in these little crevices on the potato, you will find that you can wash out some mud and dirt and all that gross stuff because I don't want to eat that. Oh, and also make sure you have your oven preheating to 425 degrees right now. So once you have your potatoes dried, the next step is to stab a couple holes in them. Just take a normal fork, get it in here a few times. I like to do about four stabs in it across the potato. Now you're gonna to wanna to cook these on a large baking pan. And once you have that out and ready to go, your next step is to slather these things in some olive oil and salt. So I just like to take my olive oil here with my potatoes on the pan, just drizzle some on there, and then take your salt and sprinkle that on. And then from there, just take your hands and rub it in all over the potato and then wash your hands. Once you've done that, your potatoes are ready to go into the oven once it is preheated to 425 degrees and then in 45 minutes they will be ready to go. So let's get our potatoes in the oven. And I will see you guys in 45 minutes. All right guys, it's been 45 minutes. Time to take out our potatoes and see how they look. So a quick way to tell if they are done just stab them with a fork, and if it sticks to the fork, then they're not done, but these obviously did not stick to the fork, so they are done. So I'm just gonna let those sit. Uh, they will stay hot for a long time while I cook my eggs. And I wanna let you guys know, I mean, if your diet does not include a whole lot of carbs, you can definitely leave the potato out, but this is what I'm doing for my diet, so yeah. You can take the potato or leave it. So next up, we're going to cook our eggs. I personally am going to do three whole eggs and 10 liquid egg whites. 10 liquid egg whites is half of one of these containers or 460 grams of weight. You want to crack those into a large bowl so that you have plenty of room to whisk them up uh, so they're mixed completely. So here we have our 10 egg whites and three whole eggs, and I'm just going to scramble these up. I'm gonna put the burner on high and let that heat up before I put my eggs on it. And I'm also going to put a tablespoon of butter on the pan. Once your butter melts completely on the pan, then you're ready to put the eggs on. So the way that I like to cook my eggs scrambled is I dump it all in there and then I constantly keep it moving with a spatula so that you have nice fluffy uh, creamy eggs instead of like burning part of it. So always keep the egg mixture moving while it's cooking. That way it just doesn't sit in any one spot and burn. Make sure you're using a silicone spatula so that it doesn't melt while you're cooking with it. Okay. 
All right, guys, so now that we got everything cooked, we got the eggs cooked, we got the potatoes cooked, it's time to put everything together in a very big bowl. So with cottage cheese being in the mix and being cold, I like to sandwich that in between the potatoes and the eggs to help heat that up and kind of help it melt a little bit. So first up, we're gonna put the potatoes in the bottom of the bowl and then cut them just down the center here. And then I like to cut across to help get those nice and mixed up. So now they're pretty well opened up in the bowl. Now I'm gonna take a fork and kind of mash that up a little bit. As you can see, it is still very hot. So next, I'm gonna put cottage cheese on top of this. In here, I've got about three servings worth of cottage cheese, which is about 33 grams of protein. And I'm just going to put that right on top of this. So then I'm going to mix this up into the potatoes. Just kind of spread it out and mash it up a little bit. I've also done this without the potatoes and just throwing the cottage cheese in and then throwing the eggs on top. That's a very good option as well, but if you're on the vertical diet, you probably are eating a significant amount of carbs. So you'll want to include the potatoes. And then last on the list, we add our eggs on top. And we've got this big breakfast bowl of potatoes, cheese, and eggs. And so the last ingredient is just salt and pepper. This is a mix of pink Himalayan salt and iodized sea salt. So I'm just going to sprinkle a good amount of that on. And then with this, just some basic black pepper. And there you have it, guys. We've got two whole baked potatoes, three servings of cottage cheese, 10 egg whites, and three whole eggs in this gigantic breakfast bowl, ready to go. That's good. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber yet, please subscribe below. If you have any questions, leave a comment below or email me at chaseirons at gmail.com. If you're interested in online training, whether it's nutrition based or workout based, I can definitely hook you up with that. So send me an email, we'll chat it up and figure it out. Thanks for stopping by guys and I will see you next time.